वंस अपॉन ए टाइम इन ए स्मॉल टाउन नेसल बिटवीन हिल्स देर लिव द यंग बॉय लाइक मैनी बॉयज ऑफ इज एज ही लव प्लेइंग विद हिज फ्रेंड्स वॉचिंग द क्लाउड पास बाय एंड लिसनिंग टू द बर्ड सिंग बट देर वॉज वन एरिया इन विच द बॉय स्ट्रगल इमेंसली एंड दैट वॉज हिज स्टडीज नो मैटर हाउ हार्ड ही ट्राइड he could never grasp the concepts or remember the facts his classmates often laughed at his mistakes which made him even more disheartened one day while walking in the forest nearby his town the boy stumbled upon a quaint temple curiously he went inside and found a zen monk sitting in deep meditation the serenity of the place and the monk's aura of calmness made the boy feel at ease gathering up the courage the boy approached the zen master and said master i am very weak in my studies i forget what i learn and i find it hard to concentrate can you help me zen master opened his eyes gave boy a gentle smile and said certainly but first you must learn to understand the essence of studying and the mind and therefore i will give you some valuable tips by which you can concentrate your mind and improve in studies then the zen master started explaining the first tip is clear your mind the zen master gave boy a small jar filled with muddy water what do you see he asked the boy the boy looked at the jar and replied it is a muddy water Now place the jar here and let's wait said the monk after an hour the dirt had settled to the bottom and the water became clear then the zen master said pointing to the jar this is your mind when it is agitated with thoughts of play fear or distractions you cannot see clearly but when you calm your mind clarity emerges therefore before studying take a few moments to meditate focusing on your breathing clearing your mind of distractions by doing this whatever you read you will understand it better second focus on the present the master then pointed to a burning candle and asked the boy to watch the flame without letting his mind wander here and there initially the boy's mind drifted to his classmates his failures and other things but after some time with practice he could focus solely on the flame then the zen master said you see the past is gone and the future is yet to come therefore when you study be in the present if your mind drifts to past mistakes or future worries gently bring it back and focus on your study therefore whenever you study give it your undivided attention and be in the present moment third absorb the knowledge don't memorize then the zen master gave boy a sponge and a stone then he poured water over both the sponge absorbed the water while the water just slid off the stone then the master said many students try to memorize facts like the stone letting them slide away after a while instead be like the sponge absorb the knowledge understand it make it a part of you don't just memorize understand the concepts visualize them and relate them to real life scenarios thus you will never forget what you have learned and will remember it forever fourth break task into steps then the zen master presented boy with a large block of wood and asked him to split it into pieces boy tried hard but failed the monk then showed him how to chisel it little by little eventually breaking it apart then he said when faced with a big task break it into smaller task study in chunks grasp a bit at a time and eventually you will understand the whole therefore divide your study material into sections focus on one section at a time take small breaks and then move to the next thus you will not get bored and can study for long hours 
Fifth, be persistent. Then the Zen master planted two seeds in a separate pots. He watered one regularly, while the other was neglected. In few days, the first seed sprouted and grew into a beautiful plant, while the other remained dormant. Then the Zen master said to the boy, "Just like the plant, your efforts will bear fruit if you are persistent and consistent. Therefore, study regularly." even if it is just a little every day consistency is the key if you maintain consistency and keep studying even for a little time every day then one day you will definitely turn into a brilliant student the boy kept coming to the zen master continuously for few days to learn and practice these principles when he returned to school he applied the lessons in his studies it was not an overnight change but with time the boy saw significant improvement he became more attentive understood topics better and remembered what he learned his grades improved and more importantly he began to enjoy learning years later when the boy grew up and became a very successful man he often used to remember the invaluable lessons he learned from the zen monk emphasizing that it was not just about studying better but also about living better he understood that in the journey of life it is not just about the destination but the path you take and the lessons you learn along the way so friends if you also face challenges in your study then just remember that boy's journey just like he transformed from a struggling student to a brilliant one you too can become brilliant with the power of determination focus and clear mind embrace each moment absorb the knowledge around you and break down your goals into manageable steps as you walk the path of learning let zen master's timeless wisdom remind you that your efforts no matter how small will bloom into success so go forth with courage for within you lie the potential to shine as brilliantly as the stars in the night sky